Eric here, and I'm in my home rig, which is a RCP Cockpit Pro. And it's also the uh, got the Pro Series triple monitor mount, the five axis version, which is incredible. And I can say this rig is the, my favorite rig I have ever had. And I know I'm a little biased, but I think by the end of this video, you're gonna agree, this is second to none. I mean, from the insanely rigid uh, DD1, DD2, or SimiCube side mounts, to the pedal plate, which is some kind of special steel that like literally can't bend. I mean, I can mash the pedal as hard as I want and it doesn't move. To the accessories, you know, you can mount fans and cup holders and this keyboard tray is the best one I've ever seen. Sure, it can move in and out like that, but it can also turn. And so you can actually have it where you can use it like a normal computer and actually type fully or have it off to the side when you're racing so you can chat or use the number pad as a, a button box. And so uh, it's got the, the mouse tray, which is incredible. The way the shifter mounts is as rigid as I've ever seen. Everything is height adjustable. The monitors, you can move forward and back and up and down independent of the wheel, which means you can finally set it forward and down to where you can see through the wheel to see the gauges, which is incredible. This thing is awesome. I know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So uh, let's get right into the tour and the review of the RCP Cockpit Pro. Let's do it. Here's my racing posters and then bam, the Cockpit Pro. <laughs> this thing is awesome. So uh, I've got my PC right here and then the monitors are Samsung G5. 32 inch got the dd1 and the v3 pedals along with the club sport shifter and you can see the uh, recently released mouse tray and the keyboard which is awesome the keyboard mount is fully it has two pivot points and it's fully adjustable but one thing i really love about it is that it looks like the keyboard is just floating there in the air um, the way that it's designed is like it's underneath the keyboard and so you can put any keyboard on it and it looks like that. It's just floating in the air and it looks awesome. But let's get a little more detailed. So here uh, you can see the sim risers and these things are amazing. They actually hold up the rig off the floor so that all the vibrations from the butt kicker and from the, the wheel that's giving you the force feedback actually transfer through the frame and give you in your seat the most vibration possible. It also protects your floors. Um, these seat rails on the RCP Cockpit Pro allow you to mount literally any seat, any racing seat um, from a real car uh, or a sp sim racing specific seat. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, let me show you this pedal plate now. Uh, this pedal plate allows you to adjust um, exactly how you want the angle of the pedals to be, the height of the pedals. It also allows you to shift the pedals from right to left. So let me actually come back over here and show you. I actually have mine offset a little bit to the left because I like to do left foot braking, right foot gas. And so I can actually shift the pedals. You can slide them, they're slots, so you can slide them um, maybe four inches back and forth, all the way to the right side, all the way to the left side. Uh, no matter what kind of pedals you have. All right, let's talk about the uprights. So these uprights are super, super rigid. Let me see if I can get down here and show you how it's connected. So there are six, 12, there are 12 bolts holding the upright to the side rail. So this thing is incredibly rigid. And then instead of the universal steel wheel deck here, I have the uh, DD1, DD2 side mount option. They're made out of, they're like ultra rigid uh, quarter inch st steel. Uh, when you feel the weight and the quality of these things, you'd be blown away. And uh, probably the key feature of these to talk about other than the rigidity is you can see those two curved slots. So that allows you to change the angle of your wheelbase to exactly the angle uh, that you want. Um, you also can slide this entire assembly up and down these rails. All right, so now let's move on and talk about the Pro Series triple monitor mount. And I'm gonna start out by showing you these seams between these monitors, because if you've ever done a triple monitor mount, you know, let's see if I can get this to focus, you know how hard it is to get this level of precision. To actually get the monitors aligned perfectly is incredibly difficult. So, that's what's different about a five axis 
triple monitor mount as opposed to a normal one. So what are the five axes? axes? <laughs> you can move it up and down. So you can see these rails right here allow you to move it up and down. You can move it forward and back independent of the wheel base. So you can have it as close behind the wheel as you want or as far away. Um, you can also change the angle. This is huge. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Um, you can actually adjust the angle on e either side and have it match on both sides. One of the problems usually when you're doing a triple monitor mount is having both sides actually match. Now you'll notice I have this um, topped out at 65 degrees and the reason is because I'm using these curved monitors and so you actually have to use a much steeper angle to get the monitors where you want them. A normal uh, triple monitor flat setup would use like a 45 or a 50 degree angle. Um, so yeah, so that's another axis there. Then if we look at these uh, vase amounts, um, you can see they have like a, a little slot there instead of a hole. And what that allows you to do is actually change the angle of the monitors to fit perfectly together. Uh, let's see, you can see the screws going into the monitor are also uh, not holes, they're slots. And so this allows you to turn the monitor s sideways, like actually rotate the monitor, and to move it up and down. And when you add those up, you get five axes of rotation, which allows you to put together something incredible like this. All right, let me show you one of my favorite features of this cockpit that's something kind of unexpected. Now let's say you wanted to come down here and work on your pedals. To crawl back in there and unscrew things would not be particularly comfortable. Um, so check this out. You can actually just pull the entire rig and it's designed to slide on carpet or wood so you can move your rig to work on it if you need to. So now what you've got is plenty of room where I can just walk back here and if I need to work on the pedals, no problem at all. I've got all this room. And that comes standard on every rig, the floor sliders, and they work on carpet or wood. And so you can move your rig while you're building it and then move it into the final position or after you built it when you need to adjust something, adjust the height of your pedal plate or adjust your pedals or work on the monitors or whatever. You can just slide your rig around wherever you need it. It's awesome. Thanks for coming along on this little tour and review of my home rig. I hope that that answered any questions you might have had. So when you order one of these, you know exactly what you're getting and you understand the features and what this has to offer. Again, this is definitely my favorite rig. And uh, I know that if you order one, you will not be disappointed. This thing is badass. So thanks again and I'll see you next time. If you're as into sim racing as me, like that is a sexy view right there with those curved monitors. Oh man, it's awesome.